Well, more hold to be expected since the um, free ESO time has expired and hey, been in the... Uh, which alliance am I in? Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. And the Lion Space as always comes to to Mournhold, as we are always come and finish off. Right, anyway, I have something that I just really need to do because I've been thinking about it for for weeks as I watch read my mail. And um that is my mail. And I wanna go up there. Which is really difficult. Stand on that wash line. Because it's. Why do I want to stand on the wash line? Because it's fun! Anyway, this is Smiley 67 walking you back with Dex Lizardorf as playing this. Come on! Why is it so difficult to jump up on the line? I have actually been up on, on the upper one, but um, it's hard enough just to get in the lower one. Oh! Excellent! Oops, I've walked off. That is difficult, 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 difficult! Hey. Oh, and I've jumped straight over the top! Never mind. This'll do. We'll just have to do it here. Hopefully there's not too much noise going on around in, in the background and places. Hmm, not a particularly exciting vista, is it? Right. Just gonna read the mail. Magog Dahama. Three months ago! I really have to do this at least once a month. Sad news, boss. Bear runs in and I couldn't come to an equitable agreement. I'm truly sorry that we won't be doing business going forward and that I had to drop him into town's pig pen after he accidentally tripped and hit his head on my hammer. Twice. It's unfortunate, but things happen when people try to take advantage of my generous nature. Margog Bahama, at your service. May these components find you happy and rolling in gold. You may be curious about my cheerful disposition. That's all because good Constable Didrick brought the Sword of Justice down on Splendid Ball's illegal operation. That has me feeling ecstatic. Now, if you excuse me, I have some celebrating to do. With some grog, undoubtedly. The happy moment was short lived. Talk about unfortunate fortunate circumstances. All of the witnesses that Constable Cedric had rounded up to speak against the Gajit crime lord have mysteriously vanished. Oh, there were the usual notes about being called away unexpectedly. But if you ask me, they're swimming with the mud crabs at the bottom of the lake. Highly likely. My nemesis, I have a nemesis. Landed pause is free and clear, at least for the moment. But Constable Cedric isn't happy about the turn of events any more than I am. He let us both know it in no uncertain terms, and he wants that, and he warned that he'll be watching us. Both of us! Oh joy! Maybe I have two nemeses. I'll need to think about that. Materials are enclosed. Hello boss, let me tell you about a new product I've started to help calm my nerves and bring me a state of serenity. I'm building an elaborate house for the Bantam Gua that congregate behind my cabin. Have you seen one of those creatures? A kind of cute and a little scaly sort of chicken way. Lots of little guys.
Woodworking is so relaxing, especially when I'm working on something that really matters. I was watching a few bantam gar frolicking outside my cabin the other, tavern the other day, begging for food and doing their little dance, when the sky opened and a drenching rain fell. That's when I decided, those gua need a place to live, and I'm going to build it. Margog the hammer again, along with his batch of material. Here are more details on the Bantam Gua house I'm building behind my tavern. It's got four entrances, two exits, three levels, and an exterior deck so that the Gua can summon themselves. I'm also adding two feeding troughs and three fountains so there's plenty of food and water to go around. Well, that's quite an, an elaborate thing. Just a minute. Four e entrances and two exits. Um, isn't an, generally an entrance also an exit? Hmm. Never mind. Maybe there won't be any pictures, so you can have a look at it. Because of the visitor's place. Um, serene. Woodworking does wonders for my aggressive tendencies. I haven't wanted to hit back. anyone in you days. To stop I must, this. must have something to do with banging nails into wood, I guess. Anyway, the Banton Gwai house is almost ready for the little guys to move into. Can't wait to see how they like it. In the meantime, this package is for you. Maybe they won't like it. What incentive do they have to like it? It's done and it's a masterpiece. Maybe my finest work ever. A home worthy of the most noble of Brandon Gua, with plenty of room for lots of inhabitants. Can't wait to see how they like it. The water and the food troughs are full, the doors are open, and it's all ready for the little guys to move in. I had some materials left over, so here you go. It's gonna go wrong, isn't it? Oh no! My perfect went bantam Gua Cottage has become a home for wayward scuttlers. Those pests moved right in and made themselves comfortable, eating all the food and drinking all the water. Now they won't move out and the poor Bantam Gua remain homeless. I guess I could construct a second house, but I need to hurry before the rainy season begins. You see them? I guess so. Margog the Hammer again. Did you miss me? Here's your components. Have you ever heard the saying, the enemy of my enemy is your friend? Well, that's got me thinking. I have two enemies at the moment. Blended paws and cunts They also are opposed to each other. I wonder if I should ally myself with one of them. What convenience is fake? Yes, well, I'm going to say the enemy of your enemy is not necessarily your friend. Enemies. Enemy is also your enemy. This just proves my point. I extended the hand of friendship to Constable Cedric. That was a mistake. He looked like I tried to offer him a poisonous viper instead of a handshake. Then went on a short tirade about how he would never allow himself to associate with scum like me. If I were a sense of sort, his words would have cut me like a knife. Instead, I just hit him. Ooh. Margog. I don't think that was a very good idea. Hello again, boss. My recent efforts to befriend Cedric. Constable Cedric have met with a fame. Cedric was a Chedric. Ched. Ched. Chedric. Chedric. Hello again, boss. My recent efforts to befriend be be friend Constable Chedric have met with failure. The good and noble Constable seems is too pure to associate with a common woodworker, tavern owner, and a somewhat shady entrepreneur such as me. Oh well, I don't really like the man much anyway. I guess I should go talk to Splendid Paws next. Mm -hmm. Now I'm nervous. That Keiji Khajiit showed up at my tavern and offered to buy me a drink before I could do the same at his place. Splendid talk pause has been a thorn on my side almost from the day I met him. But it seems we'd rather team up than allow Constable Chedric to take us both out of the picture. 
And at least I know there's no poison in my my ale. Yes, in your own tavern. Probably a really good idea. Splendid Corp Paul the Kajik Crime Lord is a surprisingly pleasant fellow. He tells amusing stories and laughs at jokes and knows how to hold his liquor. He does have an annoying habit of talking about himself in the third person, but I suppose nobody's perfect. He eventually got around to why he was here. It's time to retire the constable, he said. Well, because you generally talk about the third person. They, um, instead of saying I or me, they used their name. Hmm. Boss, this is by no means a confession. It's just talk between business associates. Understand? And when Splendid Paws used the word retire, he just meant put him out to pasture, take out the trash, dispose of the problem, or liquidate our stock. And by stock, I mean the good Constable Chedric. Your components are enclosed. Does he mean kill him? What an amazing world this is. Who would have thought that Splendid Paws of Crime Lord and Margog the Hammer would have ever worked together on anything? But as my hunt mother used to say, can't take down a master with a single arrow, no matter how steady you aim. In this case, Constable Jedrick is our master and we need two arrows. And I think that's where I'm going to leave that one. Selling, trading. And leave that there. Next episode, because there is something um, special going on at the moment, and that is Morrowind. And what that means is, at this is a pop over look at Tamriel. I'll see you so. Can't go to the Rothgar anymore. Hughes Bane, which I've never been to, or Gold Coast. And um, I'll swear. Here it all can. Do the things. But look! Bartenfeld is available. I should go do a quest over there, I reckon. Let's go see Vivek. He had a quest that was still up and about, I think. i do that one. Anyway, for the moment, though, I hope it wasn't too noisy around here, but... This is Smiling Yoss 67, signing off with Dex Isidore Hispanthus. Be well.